Thanks in part to the Crusader invasion of Constantinople in the early 13th century, the Byzantine Empire was left in a weak state and unable to fight off their neighbours, Serbia, Bulgaria and the Turkish Balex. The war's loss of land and pillaging conducted by the discontent mercenaries meant taxes had to be increased, thus causing further unrest. This unrest came to a head when Emperor Andronicus II excluded his grandson from succession after he had accidentally killed his own brother. But his grandson, Andronicus III, revolted against him in 1321 and was crowned co-emperor. But both emperors remained suspicious of one another and sought alliances elsewhere. Andronicus II got support from Serbia, while his grandson formed an alliance with the Bulgarians. With the help of these Bulgarians, Andronicus III took full power in 1328 and agreed to fight the Serbs alongside the Bulgarians. But this ended in failure and Andronicus III even decided to fight the Bulgarians unsuccessfully in 1332. But while all this was going on, a rising Turkish Beylik, the Ottomans, had taken important cities like Bursa and Nicaea. Although Andronicus brought some stability to the realm, he eventually died in June 1341, but his son, John V, was only nine years old. Controversially, the governor of Morea and close friend of Andronicus, John Cantacuzenus, was appointed as a regent. But within a month, he had to leave Constantinople to fight off a Serbian invasion. This allowed his rivals, the Empress Dowager and mother to John V, and the Grand Duke Alexius Apocorcus to claim power. Although Cantacuzenus returned and reclaimed power in September, he soon left and lost the city again. This time, his rivals declared him public enemy and sent his supporters into exile. His supporters soon found him and he was crowned Emperor John VI in October. This split the country in two. Aristocrats in the countryside backed John VI, while the people in the cities backed the young John V and his family's mercantile connections with the Italian state. Cities rose up against the aristocracy and gave their support to the Empress Dowager. However, John VI did manage to retain one city, Demotica, which he made his base. He also managed to gain the allegiance of Herelia, a virtually independent Serbian lord. But another strong potential ally, the governor of Thessalonica, was ousted by the anti-aristocratic zealots who ruled the city independently until after the war. So by mid-1342, with no real allies, John faced defeat. So he promised Stephen Dushan of Serbia a great deal of land in exchange for his support. Within a year, the Serbians took most of Albania and advanced as far south as the coast. However, in April, John VI got the town of Beroia to surrender to him instead of the Serbs. So Stephen Dushan, with no more to gain through this alliance, decided to swap sides and fight for the Empress Dowager, and this allowed him to occupy half of Byzantine land within a couple years. Also in 1344, the Empress Dowager was joined by a new powerful ally, Ivan Alexander of Bulgaria. However, once he took the city, he had been promised, Philippopolis, he did relatively little. Despite this, John VI managed to gain a couple allies himself, notably the governors of Thessaly and Adrianople and the Turkish Adenids. Although he failed to take Thessalonica, he managed to re-establish himself in Demotica. Plus, he took the Rhodope Mountains by crushing the powerful brigand Momchil, who controlled the region. But the Adenids had to withdraw to fight off Crusaders. But in their place, he got the support of the Saruhans and Ottomans. Over the next couple years, the Ottomans pillaged the countryside, causing further financial problems for the Empress Dowager. Plus, her strong ally, Apocorcus, was killed by prisoners in the new prison he had built for them. Also, her other ally, Stephen Dushan, was of no help. After conquering a vast amount of Byzantine land, he claimed the Byzantine throne for himself and proclaimed himself Emperor of the Serbs and Romans. So by early 1347, after a short siege of Constantinople, discontent guards opened the gates to John VI, ending the war with John V and John VI as co-emperors. However, the new emperors were faced with the arrival of the Black Death and a series of wars. They launched a failed attack on the Genoese colony across the Bosphorus, while the Serbs continued to expand into their land. Also, disputes over inheritance between the two emperors boiled over into a further civil war in 1352. This war lasted until 1357, and John VI and his son were defeated by John V and his allies, Serbia, Genoa and Venice. However, during the war, the defeated John VI had aligned himself once again with the Ottomans, and during this war they seized Gallipoli, their first European conquest. The Ottomans would go on to capture important cities like Adrianople. The Byzantines did manage to retake Gallipoli during a crusade in 1367 and restore their authority in Thessalonica, while the Ottomans expanded into the Serbian Empire. However, yet another Byzantine civil war in the 1370s, this time an unsuccessful revolt led by John V's son against his father for accepting Ottoman suzerainty, allowed the Ottomans to retake Gallipoli. These civil wars devastated the empire beyond recovery, while simultaneously opening up Europe to the Ottomans. The Byzantine Empire, which had lasted for over a millennium, would finally collapse in 1453 when the Ottomans took Constantinople.